Hello, my name is Gloria Boudreau, Senior Technical Engineer for Privilege Manager for Sudo. Today I will demonstrate how to interactively update the security policy, which is Sudoers. The agenda that will be covered today includes how to update the Sudoers policy using the PM policy edit command, commands to run on the policy server, and commands to run on the client. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm logged into the policy server as Roosh. Let's start by checking the status of the policy server to make sure it is working properly and has no errors. We do this with the PM policy master status command. Here you can see that uh, it tells you that, that uh, everything is okay and it gives you uh, actually a path to the sudoers file on the system. Uh, you should not um, modify the sudoers file um, with VI directly. Um, you should use the PM policy uh, command, PM policy edit command, or you can use uh, what's called PM policy checkout. Now let's look at the um, PM policy log command. What this command is telling you is the revisions of the sudoers file, because so you, and it, it note it also has a timestamp on it, so you can tell when the last time it was changed. So you can see there's only been uh, one version of the sudoers file since it's been installed, and uh, the date on that is February 20th. So let's go ahead and look at the sudoers file that is currently on the system. So it's in Etsy op quest QPM for you policy and then sudoers. So you can see there's a, a few rules currently on it. So we have a, a user on the system called gbudro, which is my account. And it's a Unix enabled uh, AD account. We want the gbudro account to be allowed to run the vast tool status command. Um, which is usually only able to run by root. So let's add in a rule to do so. So we're going to change the policy, uh, the sudoers policy, by using the pm policy edit command. So it's in opquest spin. You can also put that in your path. Policy edit. And you can see here that it is uh, bringing up the sudoers file. We go down to the end. We'll hit Shift A to edit. And we'll add in our rule. So you can see above there, I just added uh, the rule in there. And I'm going to save it right quick. And you can see here, it checks out. And now you get a chance to uh, enter in the message. Edit rule for gbudro. And hit enter. And there you can see we have committed revision number two. So let's have a look at the PM policy log command again to see what that looks like. And here now you see there's uh, two versions. 
Um, and you can also see that the, the date on it is uh, May 2nd, which is today. And uh, the rule in the comment is at the end there, and it says add rule for G. Woodrow, which I put in the comments. I have now logged into the sudo plugin client as root. Let's run pm check to ensure the client is functional and that there is no errors. So here we see the run pm check and there is no errors. To ensure the sudo plugin client is joined to the correct policy server and that it's working, we'll run pm plugin info command. And here you can see that it, it uh, is joined to a policy server and it gives the name of the primary policy server and that it is a sudo policy group. So the next thing to check is that it is using the correct revision of the security policy. We do this with the PM policy plugin dash S command. Okay, here you see the command output is that the current revision is using current revision 2. And if you remember from earlier, that is the revision that uh, we changed. And it actually gives us uh, the checkout date too, which is uh, May 2nd. And uh, that was what we when we changed it. So as root, there is some sudo commands that you can check your rules with. sudo dash L dash capital U and then the account name, and we can see what uh, commands this account can run. So there, it gives you the command. Let's check the, the G. Boudreaux account that we had changed, or added the rule in for. And there we see the rule that we added. Now I'm going to log into the sudo plugin client with the G. Boudreaux account. And let's do the sudo dash L command. And there you can see that it says I can run uh, the opt quest bin vast tool status as root. So let's go ahead and, and do that. And there you can see I'm able to run the command. So let's review some commands to run on the policy server. Um, you see me run the opquest sbin pm policy edit command, uh, which allows you to edit sudoers file. It takes it into uh, VI. So you're actually using VI commands um, to uh, add in the rules. And then you've seen me do the, the PM policy log uh, to check the revisions of sudoers and the timestamp. And PM policy master status command, which checks the version of sudoers that is active and uh, actually checks the status of the policy server. There's another command we didn't do in this video that, that is very useful. If you have like a primary policy and then you have a secondary policy server, um, PM policy sync lets you update the versions of the policy. So here are some commands to run on the client. Um, we did some of these in the video. Uh, PM plug info allows us to check the host is joined and the info about the configuration. And PM check lets us check that the status of the plugin client, and uh, it should say zero errors. If not, we have to do some troubleshooting. Uh, PM policy plugin s allows you to see what sudo's revision you're using, and uh, if that in our video it, it did show correctly that we're using revision number two, which we had uh, made the update in. But if, say, it said revision number one, we would do the next command, pm policy plugin dash g, 
what goes out to the main primary server and brings in the, the correct policy revision um, so that it, it would hopefully refresh it to number two if it was if it had said uh, revision number one in the video. I hope today's demo was of value to you. For more information about Privilege Manager for sudo, go to support.oneidentity.com and you can search for the Privilege Manager Administration Guide. Thank you.